take a job. Okay. When you set the your swash and everything up, which we're about to do, put your swash leveling tool on. And power it up. Turn the transmitter on. And the receiver. I've got my uh, rudder disconnected because I'm just working on here at the moment. And fire it up. Okay, now, if your height's right, th these probably won't match up for you guys straight away. Um, at mid-stick, or 50% on a spectrum, um, if you've got 100 to minus 100, you want to have zero, at the, set it up for zero. I set my um, pitch curve, so that uh, on, on the throttle hold, I'll show you in a sec. pitch curve, don't know if you can see that, I've got the first three positions, so L1 and 2, at 50%, which is mid-stick, so that allows me to go anywhere from here to here, heart to halfway, without mucking around with um, being fiddly, so I, I can set it there if I want to, or with, as long as my throttle holds on, um, that gives me mid-stick. Now, you know that you've got your linkages correct, um, because this one here is not adjustable. You know you've got your linkages correct here, because what you do is you line up. I'll zoom in for this and show you. don't know if you can see it all. Okay, basically, I'll just point out the components we're looking at here. Um, the the centre of this output shaft for the for the rear servo, this pivot point here, this pivot point here, and the pivot point through the hole that you can see for this shaft, you need they need to they should all be lined up together. If you put a straight edge across, they should all be lined up when you look down uh, looking down. At it straight at, straight at it, they should all line up. So that gives you a base point where everything's starting from that center point and moving up and down, which helps you keep your all your servos in the in the correct position. So this this um, uh, this position here isn't exactly critical uh, to have to be ninety degrees like like most of them. You'd set them all up for ninety degrees. Um, as long as those pivot points all start at the same at the same point because this pivot point here is in line with this shaft is in line with this shaft is in line with this shaft so that gives you one solid point of raising up and down okay so to set your um you, to level your swash you need to get all your sub trims to zero I'll just get this out. Right. Um, so all your sub trims should be zero. Oh, that one there's out, see? Okay, so they should all be sitting in the center. Each one of them. Right, so... Um, once you've got that, go into your menu, this is a spectrum, uh, your radio may be different or may not be. Spectrums pretty much use the same kind of design. Um, and what you want to do is set up a linear linear curve, pitch curve. Oh, sorry, we'll go back to that. I set, I set my throttle hold curve when I'm doing my, my central uh, mid-stick position, which is where I'm building everything off. And I set mine up like that, so 50, 50, 50, and then the other two go up. As long as I keep my stick 
down below the 50% or between low stick and mid it doesn't move okay so that's that's all sorted right so now that that's in that position um, what we need to do is go go ahead and adjust our settings so that the um, swash is, is level and to check that this you when you're looking down on top of these they should there should be no gap on any of these so you you need to go into your um, menus um, and set all your sub trims for zero just to, just so you know where you are I, only for your um, elevator aileron and pitch don't worry about your rudder that's nothing to do with this okay so you've got zero on all four of those uh, zero aileron elevator and pitch which is the key to the key ones to make sure that you've got to zero so now that you've got that, that at zero and as you can see that's out quite a lot all right that's out quite a lot um, I'll just drop this down so you can see as you can see the front the front one's miles out and this one on this side is miles out so this one here is too high okay so what you need to do to get it close um, is remove your um, so everything's zeroed so you need to take off your wheel and move it so that you've got it as close as you can get and then but with, by mechanical setup don't adjust any of these leave them where they are because you know that they're perfect length and move this on, on the splines to get it close so I'll just do that okay I've moved um, I've moved one spline on the uh, servo on on the um, aileron aileron servo so you can see it's quite close now this one here's got there's no gap at the front one this back one has no gap but this aileron one there's a bit of a gap but I can't if I go the other way it pushes up it's its way out so what we need to do is um, back off for a second I'm just going to show you quickly what the three servos are um, looking at the front of the helicopter This is the front of the helicopter up here. The front servo, which this is the pivot point to the to the back one. Um, you've got so the front ones, which is this one here, is the elevator, which is that servo at the back. But the front is is a swash. I mean, so that's the elevator. Uh, the one on the right hand side is the aileron. So that's this one here and the one on the other side is the pitch okay just to save any confusion so on the actual servo location I've done a little chart here for servo location um, you've got this is the front of the helicopter again you the servo for the elevators at the rear which is here the servo for the pitch is over this side on the left and the servo for the aileron is this one right here on the right hand side so I'm talking like you were sitting on top of the helicopter like a like riding a horse and the right leg is the right side left leg is the left side okay and the rear is behind you which is this one here okay so what we need to do is we actually need to adjust the sub trim for the aileron to get this to come up so that it gives you level swash all right 
So we'll go into our sub trim menu. And we'll just go to the aileron. And what we want to do is just move it uh, the other way. I'll actually, I'm actually going to move that until it comes up. And level just one second. Back it off a couple and, and then get it so it's perfect. Right, I'll zoom in. So that's um, 18 with the aileron. It's 8, 18. So I'll just zoom in and show you what happens. Just that 18. I'll move it back to zero. So that's zero. You can see the gap in here. There's no gap there or there. There's a gap there. So what we'll do is increase it. And you should be able to see it come up and touch. And it's touching there. That's perfect. Okay. So that's zero, that's level swash. So you just add a little bit of sub trim to the aileron. See 19 on aileron. Okay, so that's level. Now what we want to do is um, I'll change it over to so that's the first stage.